Hi, Ellen. Thank you so much for the stretches and the breathing exercises. They've been helping me manage my stress and breathe better. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering if you have something for maybe the tension I might feel in my neck or in the beginning of a tension headache. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad the other activities have been working well for you. There is a, an approach called acupressure. There's some research to support that using this acupressure technique is helpful for either stopping a headache as you feel one coming on or releasing tension in muscles that can contribute to pain and discomfort in your head and neck and shoulders. Would you be interested in learning how to do acupressure? Yes, that sounds great. Okay, great. There are several ways to manage headaches as well as discomfort around the neck and shoulders. And during this session, I'd like to teach you a technique called acupressure that you might find helpful, especially if you can feel a headache starting or tension creeping into your neck and shoulders. Acupressure is a common technique where a person or therapist uses touch at specific points in the body to trigger a release of muscle tension. Some mind-body theories suggest that these points are linked to meridians of energy, and by putting pressure on the points, they can activate self-healing. The acupressure points we're going to learn today are recommended for treating headaches, neck, and shoulder pain. To begin, sit in a comfortable upright posture with your feet firmly planted on the ground, and feel the support of the chair, and allow the neck and shoulders to be an extension of the spine. Adjust your shoulders back and down so that your chest feels open and broad. Now, one way to find the first point is to cross your arms, placing your hands on your opposite shoulders and apply pressure with your index and middle fingers to the trapezius muscle. Now that's the big muscle that feels like it connects your neck to your shoulders. With firm, deep pressure, move your fingers in small rotating or back and forth movements. Find the spot that is most tender and continue massaging that area with firm pressure. As you do that, allow your gaze to soften as you breathe in, one, two, and breathe out, one, two. Apply deep, slow pressure as you breathe in, one, two, and out, one, two. Continue that with a soft gaze or with your eyes closed for two more complete breaths. For the next acupressure point, fold your hands together in front of you and now bring them behind your head. Allow your thumbs to feel the base of your skull moving them in small rotating or back and forth movements. When you find the most sensitive area, stay there and apply firm pressure with some gentle movement. Once again, let your gaze soften, let your arms relax, allow your chest to open up a bit. As you inhale, one, two, and exhale, one, two. Inhale, one, two, and exhale, one, two. Take a few more full breaths as you continue to massage the base of your skull. Great, now bring your hands down and we'll move to two different acupressure points on the hands. The first one is in the web space between the thumb and the index finger. So the web space is here between the thumb and the index finger. Use the thumb and the index finger of the right hand to feel the bulky web space in your left hand. And you can either put the thumb on the top or the thumb in the palm of your hand. Either way, use your index finger to squeeze that bulky muscle area in your web space. Now move the thumb and index finger back and forth. Squeezing it firmly, moving slowly back and forth. Now I like to go ahead and bring my arms closer to my body so that I can relax my arms and my shoulders as well. Once you're in a comfortable position, let your gaze relax and continue to massage your web space. 
as you inhale, one, two, and exhale, one, two. Inhale, one, two, and exhale, one, two. Switch hands so that you find the muscle in the web space of your right hand. Again, your left thumb can be on top or the left thumb can be in the palm of your hand. Either way, squeeze that muscle between the thumb and your index finger and move them slowly back and forth as you inhale, one, two, and exhale, one, two. Inhale, one, two, and exhale, one, two. The other acupressure point in the hand can be helpful for easing headaches and neck discomfort, and it's located between the knuckles of the ring finger and the pinky. For this point, I find it easiest to place the right thumb on top of the left hand, and I place it right in the groove between the pinky and the fourth finger. And now move that thumb up and down in that groove, letting your arms come down to your side, let your shoulders relax, let your gaze be soft as you move your thumb back and forth in between the groove of your pinky finger and your fourth finger, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. Now switch hands so that you use the left thumb to massage the uh, right hand right between the ring finger and the pinky. Moving the thumb up and down in that groove, letting your arms settle down, your gaze soften as you breathe in, one, two, and breathe out, one, two. Breathing in, one, two, and out, one, two. Please place your hands in your lap and we'll finish this session of acupressure simply by sitting in a supported upright posture. Let your shoulders be back and down with your chest open. Let's take a breath together for one last time. Breathing in for a count of four and out for a count of four. Breathing in, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four. There are several ways that you can use these points to help yourself. One way is to massage these points daily to facilitate good energy flow and maybe ward off a headache or neck pain. Another way is to apply pressure to the points if you feel tension building in your neck or shoulders or if you feel a headache coming on. Sometimes just a few deep strokes with full breaths can help. And finally, you may have found that one or two of the four points we identified today were particularly tender. You can focus on these points, applying pressure to either ward off tension or to ease it when it occurs. Thank you for joining me in learning how to use acupressure for relieving aches and pains of the head and neck. So Kavi, how was the acupressure? It was great. Actually, I don't feel as stiff or, and I don't have as much tension in my neck and I don't think I had a headache. So I think they really helped a lot. That's wonderful to hear. Well, be sure to use those techniques whenever you need it. Well done. Thank you.